finally made up the four days that I missed YouTube. Hallelujah! 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 That was really funny, right? I'm a comedian all the way, though. So, a few my little Mexican suckers out the way. My little mini Mexican sister. <laughs> so, today I'm going to be telling you five things that student that... Today I'm going to be showing you five things that teachers do that students absolutely hate. It may not be for all of y'all that hate it, but this is what I absolutely dread. So the first, this is like the number one thing I hate when I have to do. When like we write a story and we have to share it. Or if we like have to go, like if we answer a question and she makes us stand up and answer the question. I hate that. Um, I don't really mind, like, another thing is sharing my drawings because I freaking suck at drawing. I'm horrible. You can ask all my friends. I'm just straight up horrible. Um, I'm not good yet. That's what my teacher says. If you're gonna be negative, at least put yet at the end, which I think I'm being negative, so we'll just put yet, um, to it. But, um, let's, so that is number one. That is just mm, my absolute dread. I just hate when we get, like, on the spot. It's just, number two. So, in music class, we have these, like, bleachers, and you get to stand on them, sit on them, but he goes in the VIP seats, and then, then the, like, then some of the class has to sit on there, because there's two classes in his class, and the other two classes are in that, and we have music class today, that's why I'm wearing fancy clothes. And I hate it when, like, the people behind you are just, like, kicking. Like, they're just, like, stomping on something. Or, like, they're kicking, like, your back. Or you just feel them messing with your hair. That happened today. There's this boy that he's new. And I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know who he was. And, um, he wasn't in my, or, he wasn't in my class. And, um, he was just, like, he kept, like, kicking on my, he just, like, Kept kicking and then, or no, I knew him. He his name was Jaren, and he's like he's like just singing and like stomping on like the bleachers and like that. And we weren't even singing, and that annoyed me because I was trying to listen to the to Mr. Fox, which is my music teacher, and like he was getting annoyed with it. Everybody was getting annoyed with it because he kept asking him to please stop, and he wouldn't. So that got really annoying. Like that's what I hate. Like when. Okay, so we'll just put it in the shorter terms. When people don't listen to the teachers, like, and they're making noise, and they just don't listen to the teachers, that annoys me so much. Number three is when we're supposed to be doing silent reading or silent work, anything like silent, like individual, like not group work or anything like that, and people are talking, and you, like, really want to focus or, like, a test or... Well, nobody really talks on the test because they know better not to do that because don't talk. And, yeah, it just, I hate that because it's mostly boys. Like, the girls are good in my class, but, like, the, there's, like, two boys. I'm like, there's, like, three or two in my class that, like, always like to talk. I mean, pretty much all the boys, but... We have a new kid, and, like, he got expelled because he he called the teacher a B-word. And he came to our school. But our school's really good. Like, we haven't never had a student. But he may just be making that up, try to fit in. But, like, you don't need to make a bad make up a bad thing to go, yeah, I'm like, I don't want a student like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So, number four, I think. It's number four. I'm not sure. Number four is when... The teacher, I actually kind of like this, it depends, honestly. When the teacher uses you for an example, sometimes it can be good and sometimes it can be bad. Like the other day, I forgot to put my name and she used that as an example. Please do not have my name, but I actually had my name at the bottom. She just didn't see it and so everybody knew it was mine. So that kind of stunk, but like, I didn't know. Um, I was in a rush because I had, we had PE right after that, or we had music right, no, it was PE. We had PE and everybody was already lined up, so I gave it and she like showed it on the big board. And that kind of embarrassed me, but then 
there was another one that, uh, there, and then there's an example that I like, is when I do something right and then she shows it as an example. That's what I like, but like, it depends. Honestly, sometimes I don't. So number five is when you like send a story or like you write a story on the computer and then you send it to your teacher or when like you send anything to them like just something like that. like when you like send something to them and they share it to the whole class that's embarrassing but that we won't really count that but this is number five like this is the legit annoyment it's like let's say if you have a pencil and you like flip it once and they take it away and put it in the may box we have our teacher has a may box even though our teacher is really nice but she has a may box if you're like playing with anything then you do that i flipped my pencil once in third grade and I got taken up but I felt really bad and I apologized to the teacher and I wrote her a sorry note um because I just feel really bad like I'm one of those students that is a really good student and I just hate getting in trouble so in third grade I gave my teacher a note said I'm really really sorry for flipping my pencil um I won't do it again and like she ended up giving up to me because most students don't do that she said and she said it was just once I was just seeing how you would respond to that because it's an example because she used, I was, I, I wouldn't call me my, her, her my favorite, but she said I was her favorite. And I would always help her after school. I'm not bragging, I promise. It's just, that's what I said. And she was just, she just was testing me. Because, like, she knows I'm, like, really responsible and everything. And I really feel bad. My mom's a teacher there now. It's her first year. So, yeah, that's all for today. So, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe button down below. Love you guys. Bye.